I'm now going to take the organ and change it to a piano sound. Touching the name, Grand Piano. So here are the functions. The name of the letter down here is the octave, how high or low it is. Glissando and scroll. Scroll means I can touch and move. Glissando means I, I will slide doing the same thing. On the left, we can go change by octave. I'm just going to move my C back to the edge. Sustain. Like a sustain pedal. The keyboard function gives us a choice of one or two. And this way we can play two handed. So let's change the size of the keys to give us a larger reach on the keyboard. I find this is usually the best size for my fingers. Wrong button. This is usually the best size for my fingers, the large keys. But it gives you a smaller range. For scale, we can choose either off means every note on the piano. And just like it's showing us down in the bottom left here, we can choose different scales. For example, a scale for E major, because that's the key that we've chosen for this. We can have E minor. And if we put in the passando, with many choices to choose from. And this is the autoplay. So the notes above, and these are the bass notes. We'll cover the rest of Smart Piano in the next video.